Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Let me move on to the politics. Let me move on to the politics. And I want to... I want to speak to my brothers in PF. My brothers and sisters in PF, you may not like me. You may not like it that I have been talking about Balungo. A number of you have actually been coming to me uh, in different ways, telling me, stop talking about Balungo. Hey, Balungo hasn't said he's going to stand. Hey, what is against you and Balungo? What has Balungo done to you? You have failed to see my point. You have failed to see my point. But I know as we are moving forward, you will come to appreciate me. You will come to appreciate me. You have accused me that UPND is actually using me. But UPND is not using me at all. At all. UPND is not using me at all. If anything, what I've been talking about here, is more beneficial to you by PF than to you, UPND. UPND stands to benefit nothing out of what I talk about. I talk about strategies that would strengthen PF. That's what I talk about. You may not have gotten it, but my point has basically been that PF, I, I, I lament, I bemoan the deteriorating a, a status of PF. That's what I, I bemoan. When I come here, I come here to cry that the biggest opposition political party is going down and Balungu is doing nothing. That is what I do. That is what I do here. I don't come to insult Balungu. I don't come to reveal secrets because some of you have said, no, oh, no, no, hey, he's not somebody to trust. You tell him secrets. I've never revealed any secrets here. Never. Never. I don't insult Valungu. I don't. I have not come here to say, no, Valungu Nariwa Pata. I haven't said that. My, my position is one. Which position is not beneficial to the ruling party? It's beneficial to the PF. Is that PF needs leadership. That's what I've been talking about. That is what I've been talking about. Yes, some of you say, you are the one that started Dalai Wedderapu. Yes, I started Dalai Wedderapu. And along the way, I realized that Valungu doesn't have the leadership qualities that PF needs at this point in time. I will repeat that. I started a Lapo agenda. And it is, it is actually, it was highly possible at that point. It was highly possible because UPND, they have not done well. And the things, the economic, uh, the, 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 the global policy, the, the, uh, what, 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 what is the word? I don't know if I should say the geoeconomics. The global economics have not favored them. Have not favored them. And as such, if you, you do politics, the UPND can be hammered terribly. The UPND can be hammered terribly if you play the right politics. Especially that by UPND, they have got also a weakness. A weakness where they are not able to articulate uh, issues to make people appreciate where they are and their challenges. 
UPND, they are like, you know, a boxer in the rope, you know, in the corner there, and it's just being fixed, 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 fixed. That's how they are. And they are not throwing punches back to get back to the center of the ring and put up a good fight. They are not doing that. But that is their issue. That is their issue. So my issue has been that with UPND not having things going their way, politically, they are very vulnerable. And they are vulnerable to only a political party that has got capacity. And which party has got capacity so far? The only party that has got capacity is PF. Why does PF have capacity? PF has capacity because it is a former ruling party. It is a party that is already sold world, uh, uh, countrywide. It is a party that has got connections. This is why I said PF can actually do it. And that's how I started that agenda. And I want to tell you that whatever I was doing, I was not doing without discussing it with Walungu. If that is a secret, I don't know, but I just want to tell you, I'm not discussing what we were talking about, but I can tell you that I was in communication with Waed Galungu. I was in communication. Forget about the politics of me coming here. No, Walungu, Taveshive, what, what, what? Those are politics. You want first to prepare the ground so that the master can come in. So the issue of Alewele Alewele Rapu, yes, I brought it because I saw that there was a political opportunity that Walungu could, could use. Unfortunately, I saw, as I was moving with Walungu, I saw that he doesn't have the characteristics needed for a leader that can fight UPND. In spite of the weaknesses that UPND has now, Walungu is far from a person that can fight UPND. Is far. Walungu, in, in his character, is not a character that can stand toe to toe with her Haka Inde Ichirema. He is not a character that can stand toe to toe with Haka Inde Ichirema, especially Haka Inde Ichirema with the instruments of power. So I hope you are following me very well. Because when I open phone calls, I want to have a good conversation. Yes, there was a weakness in UPND. And the party that could do well was PF. And the best candidate was Ed Galungu. That was the best candidate. Why? Because he was already sold. Unfortunately, after moving with this person, you end no muntu. Why some mona to say uyu muntu can't manage? That is how I change to say valungu tetiwa kwanish. That is what I've that was that is what I've been saying. Tetiwa kwanish. And the decider is 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 on the is on the crossroads where we are. The decider of what I'm saying, the proof of what I'm saying, the proof of what I'm saying is simply by the fact that Balungu up to today has failed to come out and state to the people that he wants to come back. That is a proof. If you, you can doubt everything that I'm telling you, but the proof is the fact that Balungu up to today has failed to come out and say, Hello, I am the president of PF. Because as we speak, the president of PF is Ed Galungu. That is the president of PF. Some of you, you talk about the letter, whatever, whatever. That, that letter is, good, is, is nothing. What matters is the legal document that is at government. That is what matters. Even in EEP, we have had situations... There was a time when Stanley Malama, when he was Secretary General, he issued a statement to say, I've suspended Tayari. 
I've suspended dad because of misconduct and whatever, whatever, whatever. I didn't bother. I didn't even bother to respond to him. Why didn't I bother to respond? Because I know that when you go to Pakra, Pakra will show you, oh, to Registrar of Societies, it will show you that your father is the president. And there is a constitution which, is, which guides how things are supposed to be done in economic and equity part. So I was never bothered. So people can say whatever it is, just like Walungu can say whatever it is. He can even write that letter. Yes, indeed, that letter is at, the, is, at, is at cabinet. But that letter is nothing. What matters is the legal document. What comes first? Is it your letter or is it your statement or your legal document? I asked one, one, one lawyer one day, I was arguing with him, to say what matters, for example... Ine Chirufatayali, I've got an NRC as a Zambian. I've got an NRC as a Zambian. Then tomorrow I write a letter to say, I have stopped being a Zambian. I've denounced being Zambian. I've denounced being Zambian. And yet, I'm still holding on to my NRC. Do you think what, what, we, what, what, what holds the, 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 the legal status there? The legal, uh, I don't know, the legal, the legal pedigree, I don't know. My letter, which I've said, no, me have now denounced being, being, being Zambian, and yet I'm still holding on to my NRC. What are you going to follow? Are you going to follow the letter to say, no, Tayadi, you have, you have denounced being Zambian? Are you going to follow the letter? If tomorrow I go to uh, to ECZ and I present my NRC. Yeah? Just today, I pick up a letter. Let me do this. Today, I have a letter in my hands. I write a letter to say, Me, Chirufatayari, I've denounced it. from today onwards. I'm no longer Zambian. I'm following my wife. I want to be Ethiopian. Okay? I have denounced being Zambian. I now I am now Ethiopian. I have a letter. I've written it. I can even write it here. I write it right now. I have denounced being Zambian. I want to be a, an Ethiopian. Meanwhile, I keep my NRC and my passport. Then tomorrow I go to ECZ that Ndefoku Minina. Are you telling me? ECZ will stop me to say, no, that day you wrote a letter uh, on social media that you have denounced being Zambian, you are no longer Zambian. And yet, even in Ethiopia, I've not even given them, uh, I've, not even, I've not even gotten any document. I don't have an NRC from Ethiopia. The only NRC I have is from Zambia. Which nationality are you going to consider me for? Are you going to consider me to be an Ethiopian or you are going to consider me to be a Zambian? It is as simple as that. Valungu, as we speak, is the president of PF. Because when you go to register of societies, the president of PF is by Edgar Lungu. That is the status quo. That is the legal standing is what is at Pakra. Not that late. Because this letter, which I've written to say I want to be an Ethiopian, I can give it to the Ethiopian government. And if the Ethiopian government refuse me to say, no, we don't want you, we don't want you to be Ethiopian, then what happens? Because this is what happened. He has written a letter, and the PF Central Committee, they said, no, no, we don't recognize you. We don't agree with your resignation. So according to a PF Central Committee and senior members, Edgar Lungu is still their president. And as such, even when I was going to Kulibalungu, this is what I was saying. Why don't you come back? Why don't you come, hold a press conference and tell the people to say, hello, I am the president of PF. Until such a time when uh, the status quo will change. For now, I'm still the president. Why couldn't he just hold one press conference? And I spoke about this when Mao Sampa started these issues of trying to take PF to court. 
And I, I was insisting. I told a number of PF members. A number of PF members, I told them, including Walung. Can you just come? Hold just one press conference. And go and chair the Central Committee meeting as president. Chair it. Just that we will sort out all these things. I am telling you that I am blaming what happened today. I'm blaming it on Valungu. Why? Because all was required was Valungu to come in, to step in and say, Hello, I am the president of PF. That's it. Mao Sampa would have would be nowhere. Because Mao Sampa's position is very simple. He's simply saying, according to Valungu Vadi and that Vali Fumapo. So since Vadi and that Vali Fumapo, let's go for a convention. That is Mao Sampa's position. Let's go for a convention and choose a leader. Let us legalize this. Because right now there is no legality in that uh, document that is at uh, at uh, at uh, cabinet office. There is no legality. The legality is at the return of society. And Mao Sampa has been saying, let's legalize this. Let's remove from Pakra, let's remove the name of Valungu, if indeed Valungu is out. But Valungu doesn't want that. Don't be cheated, I'm telling you. Don't be cheated. Valungu doesn't want that. Valungu wants those names to remain at PACRA, at the Registrar of Societies. Because Valungu wants to contest an election again. He doesn't want to put another person there because he wants it. He wants it. No two ways about it. He wants it. He wants it. At one point, Valungu led all of us to go to Munduvire. I didn't just support Munduvire anyhow, no. My loyalty first was with Valungu. That was my loyalty first was with Valungu. Was to agree with what Valungu wanted. That was, that was, that was my position. So even when I was supporting Munduvire, 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 it is because I had, I had run it through with Valungu. I had run it through with Valungu. Not that he told me, go and support Munduvira. Uh -uh. I want to be very honest there. Valungu never told me to say, go and support Munduvira. Uh -uh. Ine. Other people have said that, that they were told. But at least for me, I will be very honest to tell you that Valungu never told me, go and campaign for Munduvira. I decided, I settled on Munduvira. Out of in my interaction with Mundubide, out of my interaction with Mundubide, I saw the kind of person that he was. I saw he was a good leader. He had leadership qualities. He's a sober mind. He's an intelligent man. He's a generous man. Yes, he's a generous man. Mula, you like accusing me? That is a fact. Of course, I was in Shared Yamo. Shira Musaba, Irenda Rama Musaba, Irati, yo, Nawa Mpera Chakuti, Nawa Mpera Chakuti. Yeah, but, you know, time and again, Aku ita mundu, Aku pera waka five pin. Time and again, Aku ita, Aku pera waka ten pin. Not the money that you exaggerate. And I'm telling you the figures. I'm telling you the figures, because I don't want you to exaggerate. Mula chita exaggerate. Eh, uh-uh, uh-uh. But, so, at one point, when Balungu said, uh-uh, I'm not, I'm not going for this, I asked him, so should we campaign for somebody? Should we move? He said, yes. I told him, me, I'm going to go for Mundubi. He said, it's, it's your choice. It's your choice. And I started campaigning for Mundubi. Later on, later on, later on, Balungu Aven, Balungu Aveni came in and expressed the desire of Alebwere Rapo. And that is how Alebwere Rapo came in. And I went to Munduvide. I told Munduvide, Munduvide, Muntuandi, we were campaigning for you, but umu inewe fidimu alifuwa, alechifuwa ejichintu. Munduvide said, Ine, 
ishire chifuaya as long as valungu bale chifuaya ine ishire chifuaya that is what mundu bile told me as long as valungu bale chifuaya ine ishire chifuaya i will never fight with valungu as long as valungu bali interested in our step aside and i said very good so ine na natampa le wili rapo agenda that is how i started the alebu rapo agenda I ran the Alebu Rapua agenda. It gained momentum. Such that even UPND got scared. That is how you saw me being arrested left, right and center. Pale isa nama soja pano. Yali beba Alebu Rapua. Yali beba. It only now remained Balungu to come in. And I pushed for Balungu to come in. Balungu could not come in. I pushed, I pushed Balungu could not just come in. He could not come in and he could also not give the resources needed to push the agenda. I pushed that agenda of Walebo Rapo without resources from Balungu. You can say, some of you, you say, no, 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 if Balungu had given you money, it is not about the money to buy Fanta. Even the rope, I'm not with Balungu, ni mkwata fanta. But to run an agenda, to run a political agenda, you need resources. Some of the TikToks that you watched, you used to watch my TikTok songs, I spoke to some of those people. I gave money to some of those people to do those to my videos. Social media was flooded with a label report. I did all that without the support of Valungu. The little resources that I was getting here and there, I was pushing there. And I was hoping that Valungu would come in. He never came in. So he never came in on two things. Number one, he couldn't come to the nation and tell the nation that Ine, I'm interested in running for elections again. He didn't do that. And up to today, he has not done it. Up to today, he has not done it. Mao Sampa is taking over PF, but Balungu na vekala. Mao Sampa today is taking over PF. He has taken over PF. Today, Mao Sampa is being called. He was on TV. And the news was very clear. Mao Sampa has been elected president for PF. And yet, where is the president of PF? The president of PF, as we speak, is Edgar Lungu. So tell me, Imweba PF, Mweba Mpata, Mweba Ntuka, tell me, who is supposed to challenge Mao Sampa? Who, is who can challenge Mao Sampa? If not Valungu, tell me, who can challenge Mao Sampa? Mao Sampa today is claiming to say, I am the president of PF. That's what he's saying. I am the president of PF. Now tell me, Imweba Ntuka, Tell me who is going to challenge Mao Sampa? Who is going to challenge Mao Sampa? Munjeve, who is going to challenge Mao Sampa? Mao Sampa has taken over PF. He has taken over PF. He has taken over PF. Mao Sampa has taken over PF. Obo apoka PF. Niba nani? Emo PF apoka. Obo apoka. Mao Sampa. Who has he gotten PF from? Has he gotten it from Given Lubinda? No. And I can assure you, if Given Lubinda was really substantive president, Mao Sampa would not be doing what he's doing. If Mao Sampa, if Given Lubinda, was the substantive president of PF, this nonsense would not be happening. This nonsense is happening because of uh, Edgar Lungu. Because of the weakness of uh, Edgar Lungu. Because of the laissez-faire attitude of uh, Edgar Lungu. But Edgar Lungu, he is sitting watching PF going down. He is sitting watching PF going down. And he's doing nothing about it. He's doing nothing about it. Mao Sampa had this event 
you know, in the day. If Vaed Galungu was a leader worth to lead PF, by now he would have issued a statement. By now he would have issued a statement. Even in his retirement, even if you want to say he's retired, even in his retirement, if Vaed Galungu was a strong leader, he would have issued a statement. But now, he's not even retired. He's still the president. At least he would come up and tell people to say, you know, whatever is happening there is nonsense. I am still the president and whatever, whatever, whatever is quiet. Who is issuing a statement? Emmanuel Mwambu. He's the one issuing a statement. He's the one issuing a statement. And given Luwinda, he's quiet. And rightly so. It's very difficult. Given Luwinda is in a very awkward position. Very awkward position. Nagachinda. Who is Nagachinda? Who is Nagachinda? Who is Nagachinda? Who cannot even trace who his boss is? Nagachinda doesn't even know who his boss is. He doesn't even know who appointed him. Nagachinda is nowhere. He's just hanging like that. You know, like a muppet in the ground. He has no ground. He has no ground. So... Tell me more about PF. We want to carry a lot of people. Who can challenge Mao Zampa? Nakachinda can't do it. Given Lubinda can't do it. Who is going to challenge Mao Zampa? Who is supposed to challenge Mao Zampa? No matter how many of us, Balungu will never reach Pani. Balungu is letting PF die. Yo, talk at home, change. Hey, change Balungu will cut it. PF ngayaya, ngayawa. Which is, which party is going to come up? Ala mwe wantu. Mule sumine chishinka. At times, face the truth. You may love Balungu. Na eno ni nadi batemo Balungu. I love Balungu. I love that man. But let's face it. Balungu. Niwa cha mwenso. Teku watu kai yo. Ndela ndafie. Omo fibirele. Niwa cha mwenso. Valungu wale tina mao sampa. Numba tia nituende tutukonka nyepo. Valungu wale tina mao sampa. Mao sampa is doing what he has done today to PF. Numba nje weniko. Ewe ngalwa. Na HH. Valungu wale tina mao sampa. Ero tele lofe bambu kumutina mao sampa. Because mao sampa kala tampe mitu kutueshi. Kale. He started these things a long time. And Valungu if he was a leader. He would have come. He would have stepped in. But he hasn't done that. He hasn't done that. But this is a man without instrument of power. Who is mao sampa? Who is mao sampa? But Valungu wa rifiro kumu kwanisha. Ba rifiro kumu kwanisha. Te given luwinda wa rifiro kumu kwanisha mao zamba. Awe. Te given. Given wa mfuika vya mala yambush. Ba mfuika vya. Ni wa lungu. Ba rifiro kumu kwanisha mao zamba. A person without instrument of power. A person who is basically. I mean. <laughs> even member of parliament. Is a member of parliament under PF. Ba lungu wa rifiro kumu kwanisha. Nomba, nga wale filo kwanisha mao samba. Kutiba kwanisha haka inde ichilema with instrument of power. Can Edgar Lungu manage to wrestle with he, 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 mwana mulo mwana? He, mwana mwoto haka inde ichilema. Can he manage to fight him? He, can he manage to fight it? He, 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 no, they had an issue. Hey, body could in shamo. Body could in shamo. Hey, whatever, whatever. Anyway, look at Riyadi Timdana. Mao Sampa mwa filo kumu kwa nisha. Elo muye mudo na haka inde ichilema. Mupate wa lungu wa filo kukuchita instill discipline. Wa filo. He has failed to hold the PF together. He has failed completely. Because even if he was retired, under these circumstances, he would be able to call for a meeting. 
He will be able to call Mao Sampa, Mao Sampa. Ndefo kumo na isakuni. Nge vyo lechita. Elinda so mdala. Kuchamu ita Mao Zina panopene nderanda. Valungu. Ngavali kwa tafye. Ntua nikane. Ia kuluwa. Kuchamu ita Mao Zampa. Panopene Mao Zampa. Nde kufuwa ya isa. Iyo shana 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 isa. Ulefu anji soko kwini. Nga kano kuisa mdala kuima wana panga nda pageti para ule mulo lila. Ndefu atulandi. Namba na wafirua. Na wafirua. Eko mungje wati. Bae baro na eche echi. He tayari he. He he. Tawa kwa ta stansi. Kwa mkanya pofo kula nda rewele lapo. Nda rewele lapo. Mwafirua kuluwa mao zampu. And going further now, I want to tell you that what Mao Sampa has done, objectively speaking, I want to tell you, it's illegal. It is illegal. It is illegal. Mao Sampa is my friend. Mao Sampa ndarandanankwe. But in shai sepa no miwepe, inen biewe fishinka, I come, I tell you the truth. What Mao Sampa has done is illegal. And even Mao Sampa, it's not that he doesn't know. Mao Sampa knows that it is illegal. Even what he did, the secretary, he knew that it was illegal. Whatever he has done, that circus that he has done, it's a circus. He knows it is illegal. He knows it has, it has no legal backing. No one can imiebe. Muma politics. Muma politics. There is nothing like as a, a illegal. <laughs> nothing. Muma politics. Muma politics, there are no morality. There are no morality. What Mao has done, it may be illegal from whatever, whatever that you may look at it. From a legal point of view, yes. But politically, it is not illegal. Politically, what Mao has done is not illegal. Politically, what Mao has, has done is not wrong. Politically. And I can tell you politically, Mao Samba has succeeded. I can tell you, politically, Mao Samba has succeeded. Mao Samba has wired Walungu because the president of PF ni Walungu. Mao Samba has wired Walungu 10-0. He has wired Walungu 10-0. He has put himself in the front of all those who are contesting to be PF members. He has wired them. He has put himself in front. He has claimed the leadership of PF. So far he has claimed it. He has been pronounced on ZNBC, our national broadcaster, to say he's a president. So politically, muiwepa, hey, mao sampa, shan, 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 statement in FMI, mpuliwa muamba. Na wala ndafe win. But politically, mdala, Ilyani sko. Politika Ilyani sko. What Mao has, has done, he has beaten the entire PF. And they, are, they don't even know where to start from. It is just that Emmanuel Mwamba is courageous to come and even issue a statement. But really, political in Dala, this starts a, a long battle. Because at the end of the day, to undo what Mao has, has done, you have to go to court. You have to go to court. And that will be a long process. As it is, as we speak today, PF is now divided. PF is now divided. The next time there will be a, a state function, the PF will be divided because there will be two presidents. And if anything, Mao will be the only president because Mao will stand up as the president. Wao Sbalu in the Bakara I mean as acting president. Who kwete pwa makani nan? Who kwete pwa maka? Who has powers? The next time we'll have a state function, Mao will go to say, I am the president of PF. But given your case, I am the acting president. Who will the government recognize? Who will the government recognize? 
Next time we have by elections, Mao Sampa will say, This is my candidate. He will send a person to go and file in nomination. He will give a, what do we call that? This adoption certificate. Now, given now, we can pay the adoption certificate. Hello, we can toile who is it? Who will be recognized? You see the challenge that is there now. That is to start with, but then go further. We have UPND in power. Who do you think UPND is favoring right now? Who do you think UPND is favoring right now? So who do you think will be favored when they have a state function? When Baluvindava is an Amao Sampaisa, who do you think UPND will recognize? Who do you think UPND will recognize? Today Mao Sampa had that conference at Mulungush and the police were guarding him. Police were guarding him. Police were guarding him. Do you are you do you think if tomorrow we are given Rubindabayaku Bayaku government because I mean basically for the police to guard him? We must assume that a permit was given. So do you think that given Rubinda will be given a permit to go also go and do what Mao Sampa did tomorrow? Do you think the police will give a given Rubinda, you know, the, the, the protection that they gave to, to Mao Sampa? Yeah? So politically, Mao Sampa is only on the front foot. And this I'm telling you, I'm telling you for free. Objectively. If they want Mao Sam person on Bazitis, he will have his people, Secretary General, what, 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 and he will write to the Registrar of Society. He will write to the Registrar of Society. I am the president and this is the PF and whatever, 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 whatever. How are they going to challenge how will the PFU challenge Mao Sampa? When the Edgar Lungu, the substantive president, is quiet, how are they going to resolve that? How are they going to stop Mao Sampa from taking over PF, even from Pakra? How are they going to stop him? How are they going to stop him? Who is going to write a letter to Registrar of Society to say, ah, uh ah, -uh, Mao Sampa, I'm the president. Who is going to do that? Because the only one who can do that, it's it's by Ed Galungu. But by Ed Galungu, now they can. But they jogging, but they paper. Mao Sampama, it as well, replace the names at Pakra, at Registrar of Society. He can do it. I know they will file an injunction and whatever, whatever. It will take long. And before we know it, we will go into 2026. With these legal battles, we will go into 2026 with PF disputed as to who the leader is. So tell me, who is going to contest as a president for PF? Tell me, who is going to contest as a president for PF? Who is going to contest as a president for PF? Because Mao Sampa in 2026, he will go to say, I am the president of PF. I want to contest. Meanwhile, our given Lubinda, who is acting, cannot even say, I am, I am contesting on PF. But Brian Mundi, PF, cannot even farm. But given by Edgar Lungu, now we can have a common among and over a jogging over a paper. You see what I was talking about? You see what I was talking about? And all these things that I'm talking about, who is who stands to benefit out of the and this analysis that I'm giving? Who stands to benefit? Who is supposed to pay me? Is it you, PND? And I'm too. You will hate me in this country 
Hey, ta a water position, ta a water position. But in a, what I tell you, I tell you the truth. And ululuwa inye mao sampo, utaluwa apwe. And utaluwa apwe because valungu na vaikomena. Valungu ewe nga lupuisha. Elu na paku lupuisha. Apalu afika. Nifila wevati. Shinkila mula mbatala tuluila. Apana na tuluila. You know? Like what they say, what, what I mean in Bemba, in English, for those that may not understand English, a, a Bemba. In Bemba, they, we say, you know, block the, a, the, the water from coming into your house. Because, you know, where we come from, in the village, you know, what, we don't have drainages. So, water just flow into the village. But, they say when the rain is coming, make sure you make a boundary so that the water can go that way before it comes into your house. Because when it is already in your house, it is difficult. But as we are speaking, when we bring it to PF now, now the water is in the house. The water has taken over the PF house. And it's difficult. Even if Valungu, he, he takes up a shovel, start, you know, trying to do whatever. It's difficult now. Maus is a president of PF. And yet PF doesn't have a president. So even when you start calling me here, you should tell me who is the president of PF. Mao Sampa has declared himself president of PF. You can say it is illegal, whatever, 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 whatever. Who enforces the law? Because when you say something is illegal, you must be able to have the police on your side to enforce the law. So now, when you are saying Mao Sampa is illegal, tell me, who is going to help PF to enforce the law that, no, Mao, you are not president? Who is going to help a PF? Who is going to help a PF? And who is that person that is going to claim for presidency? Today, who is going to claim it? But they cannot claim it. But you know, to come out and claim it. So who is going to enforce that law to say, what you have done is illegal? Who is going to help to enforce that? And the UPND rule. Which is so happy now. Which is so happy now. Problem solved. 2026. You can consider Valungu for get out. Out. Because the leadership of PF now is disputed. And it is not even disputed because Valungu Mulevat. Our Valungu Valichita resign. So Valichita resign. Mao Sampai is saying I'm the president. If you want to go to a convention also and elect another person, but whoever you're going to elect will have to face Mao's. Because Mao's will be saying, I'm the president. So even when I give him the one, one Saba, Banani, Banani, Mao Sampa can start uh, <laughs> suspending them. They are saying Mao Sampa is suspended, Mao Sampa is suspended. On what basis? Where are they getting the law? Where are they getting the, 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 the powers to suspend Mao's? And yet Mao, he has a press, he has a conference. Illegal as it may be, but you can only say it is illegal if you can enforce it. If you have the if you have the police on your side. But in this case, who is going to enforce that this is an illegality? Who? <laughs> and yet. Where we are coming from? If only Valungu had heard me when I said, please, come in, make a statement. When Tassila was making that press conference, I was, we, the discussion was that Valungu was supposed to offer that, that press conference. It was Valungu was supposed to give that press conference. Instead, he chickened away and brought Tassila to start talking. You can hate me. You can say I'm not loyal. 
But trust me, I say things the way they are, and I focused. Where are we going? And right now, as I'm telling you, PF leadership is contested. 2026, those of you who are singing Alewiri Rapo, it has died. Today, Mao Samp has buried it. He has buried it. Today, Alewiri Rapo is dead and buried. If you had heard what I was talking about, this would not have happened. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondo. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.